What's going on everybody? It's Rocco with Rocco's Modern Survival. I am back again with another survival video uh, for the week. Um, the biggest thing that we want to talk about right now is smash that like and subscribe button, alright? Because I want to keep bringing you all the best videos I can and I want you all to know when the videos are up. So hit that notification bell as well, alright? So let's get into this week's um, survival video, alright? So, as you know, the 72 hour survival challenge is coming up in a week and a half. Or roughly, I think. Um, June 12th to the 14th is going to be the uh, camp trip, the camping trip with uh, the camp trip, the, <laughs> the camping trip with uh, Rocco Jr., Big Bad Bob, and uh, Chris. All right, yeah, Chris doesn't get a uh, funny nickname. Actually, he does. He gets called the Trailer Park Ninja. Uh, we're going to call him that because <laughs> it's an inside joke that we did. Yeah, we'll get into that later. But uh, <laughs> the. Uh, Survival staff is what I want to talk about you guys today with. Talk about with you guys today. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, <laughs> the uh, every every section in this um, staff does something. All right, it is a purpose and it will help you survive in the wild for 24 to 72 hours or so even a week. All right, everything in here that we are going to talk about can actually help you survive for up to a week in the wild if need be. All right. Um, the top up here, we're going to pop it off, it is your water carrier, alright? If you need to pop this off, take the top right here off, put it right here. You can lower your staff down, you can carry your water in it, okay? Um, now, I say carry, you can pick water up anywhere because every staff comes with a portable drinking um, filter, alright? Water filter. I can't talk today for some reason. Every staff comes with a portable water filter. There we go. So all you do is just put put it in and start drinking. That's all you got to do. Um, and you're like, well, what about when you get to the bottom of it? You just tip it up a little bit. It's not that hard. Um, so we're going to put that to the side. And the big staff down here, the big part of the staff right here, whoop, there we go. Um, everything fits inside of that. All right, so we're going to get into that at the very end of it. The uh, middle staff right here, middle part of the staff, and my cord just came off. It took me an hour and a half to fix this cordage on here, and it did not stay properly. But that's okay. I will fix it again, and I know why it's not staying, but that's fine because I want to explain this to you anyways. Um, underneath the uh, paracord, which is 250 feet of uh, orange paracord, is reflective uh, duct tape. Now the reason I use reflective duct tape is because you're in the wild, you need something reflective to help get saved with. You unravel this and then you've got a signal mirror. Just It's that easy. Um, and that way you don't have, and if you need duct tape for anything, you've got duct tape right there. So that's a big plus right there for me, I think. So this, <laughs> I forgot to tell you what the middle part was for. The middle part was for is for your poncho and your emergency tent. They both fit right inside of this, all right? So you have a thermal tent inside of this and you have a poncho inside of this. And paracord that came off that I'll fix later. Um, I, I know what I did wrong there. So I know how to fix that. Um, the, now the next thing we're gonna talk about is the big, the, 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 yeah, the big part. I can't talk. The, uh, the big part of the staff, which is the bottom part of the staff or the top part of the staff, however you wanna put it, I use it for the bottom, all right? is for your emergency water filter, your matches, all right? This comes with a week's worth of matches and a striker on top plus a striker inside of it. And I can't, oh my gosh, I forgot to put the striker inside. It's okay, it's downstairs, I know where it's at. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, my mind is fried. I, I swore I put it. I spent so much time building this the other night and worrying about these stupid knots that I still think I screwed up, but I'm not sure. Um, and the, the 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 knots are changing. The knots are going to be as tight like this right here. I'm going to actually go back and reconvert all of these old stupid knots into a nice tight form, just like this. And uh, if I would have done this one the way I did this one, it would not have fallen off. So. I like the way this one looks because you got a better feel, you got a better um, grip on it. You got a grip on it. If your hands get sweaty, they're not gripping off, they're not falling off this thing. So, but you got a week's worth of matches, a striker up top, and there's gonna be a striker inside as well to stay dry at all times. 
you've got a emergency fishing kit. Comes with a bobber, comes with uh, 50 feet of uh, 20 pound test line, weights, and about seven hooks, I think it was. We can pop it out real quick and check it out. So, take out the bobber. Bobber's a little hard to take off sometimes. There we go. Take out the bobber. Pour it all into your hand. There we go. All the hooks come just like this. One, two, three, four, five hooks. Five different hooks, plus a safety pin, which can also be used as a hook. So you got six extra hooks there. You got three weights. All right. So that's all. That's woo. Almost dropped it. So there is your fishing gear for the uh, challenge right there. Pop that sucker back in there. And she floats too. So if you drop her, she floats. And all you do is you drop it down there. That's all you gotta do. Fire starter right down there. I leave the water up top because I want it easier accessible to get to. You have fire starter here, which is cotton balls. You have a bunch of them shoved into the bottle here. And yet most of the um, tubes actually have rope around it, paracord wrapped around it, because you, you, can, you can never have enough paracord. I also have broth um, powder, I have broth powder inside of straws, all right? So that right there can help you survive for 72 to hours to a week, if necessary. I had to wait for the uh, wind chimes to calm down. If you're not catching birds or traps, if you're not catching birds in your traps or fish off the line, you have uh, chicken broth here. I'm also gonna have, add bone broth, not bone broth, but beef broth, beef broth to it as well. All right, so just drop that right down there. A sewing kit comes with scissors, needles, thread, and safety pins. All right, and duct tape, bandages, and also comes with a. Uh, well, actually I have something else for the bandages, but this is the uh, bandages for the sewing kit, if need be. This is also spices right here. Um, this has what you really need. This has salt, onion powder, I'm sorry, salt, garlic powder, and pepper. All inside of the straws, all right? Garlic powder. Boop. Salt, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, salt. All right, all that's inside of these straws right here. I like straws because oh, the, the thing behind me is going off. I like straws because they um, they seal really easy. You just put a little lighter to them and clamp them down. They're good to go. This is a medical kit. All right, this has anti-itch cream in the straws. All right, it also has bandages and Advil inside of there. All right, so that is pretty beneficial right there, especially if you're out in the wild and you get some poison ivy on you. Um, anti ice cream is a lifesaver. Pop that down there. Your life straw. Pop it down there. You're good to go. you I forgot one of the most important tabs or most important tubes. I'm so sorry about that. It was hiding there. Uh, this is trap seed. What this is is about. One, two, three, four, five, six. This has six tubes of uh, bird seed inside of this right here. Now, if necessary, you can eat this because it's just bird seed. Um, it's sunflower seeds, just the kernels. But I would recommend that you use this for your traps, for your bird traps and stuff like that in deadfalls. That's what I would use it for. That's the whole reason why it's called trap seeds. If you can see the trap seeds. I held that backwards, I'm sorry. Trap seeds, there we go. That's what I would use it for, is traps. Pop that down there, we're good to go. Uh, but that's the biggest thing. These are gonna be for sale on the channel. Um, they're gonna run about $60, and that includes shipping and handling and all that. So, but these are gonna be, com this is gonna be coming to the uh, sending, sending to our survival challenge. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. So like always, have a good day. Smack that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. God bless and peace out.